OWC Megan here reporting from the Challenger Center in Woodstock, Illinois as we explore space tonight and learn more about the last shuttle project. Kathy, tell us about the event tonight and your partnership um, as part of the last shuttle project with OWC. Well, the event tonight was originally scheduled to be a launch party for the STS-134 mission with the Space Shuttle Endeavor and as would happen, it was, it was postponed. The last shuttle project is just what, it's, what it sounds like. Um, we are in the process of documenting the end of the shuttle era. Um, we've been working on this for about a year now. OWC is the official storage provider for the last shuttle project and we are extremely grateful to have their participation and wanted to give back however we could and this turned out to be a perfect opportunity to uh, show the kids what we're doing and um, let's let people see what we see when we're there and show you the access that we do have. Why is it important for people to know about the end of the shuttle era? Well, um, first of all, because it's over. Um, it's not going to be here anymore. And NASA has made such significant contributions to various industries, medicine, business, technology. And now to think that it's going to be gone. Um, we really need to be aware of what has happened and relay that to future generations and see how they can build upon it. Right now, there are actually two shuttles that are scheduled to launch. One is uh, scheduled right now for April 29th. It was supposed to launch today. The, the last scheduled launch is for June of this year, which is a real sad ending. Uh, you know, I remember when Columbia went up in 1981, the first flight, and it was incredible. Mm -hmm. And it got, this, you know, it just kept building and building and building and building. When Challenger was lost, in 1986, NASA was launching, was getting close to launching one a month, which is incredible. That's how routine it got. Those people, men and women, have tremendous guts that go up in that thing. So we'll see what, uh, we'll see what the next generation brings. I mean, the, the shuttle built the International Space Station. There's, there's no way they could have built the space station without the shuttle, because nothing had the, the freight cap capabilities of the shuttle. Um, and, and when you stop and think about as many times as that, that vehicle's been reused over and over and over again, and the fact that it does have so many different parts, and the fact that it was awarded to the, to the lowest bidder, it's really, uh, it's really a miracle that we only lost two, in my opinion. It's also a testament to, to the technology at NASA. This was a major part of um, American history, and to be aware that it's, it's going to be gone. And how do we, where do we go from here? What do we do?